If you don't recognise this little road, it's the lane that leads from the Livingstone pub at Kessingland towards the Africa Alive Wildlife Park. And it stops off at the Camping and Caravanning Club's Kessingland site, where I'm staying tonight. It's really close to the A12 road, and the pub and site entrance is within maybe 100 feet of the large roundabout. Follow the sign to Kessingland, then turn right to follow the Africa Alive and site signpost. There's also a large caravan club site right beside the beach at Kessingland Beach, about a mile away. Well, I'm settled in really rather comfortably at the Kessingland campsite of the Camping and Caravanning Club. I've always liked the Camping and Caravanning Club because they're the guys with the grass sites. <laughs> and, and there's something about being on a grass pitch that makes me feel as if I'm camping or caravanning more than a hard standing. Um, sometimes, you know, you get up in the morning and you put your crocs on or your sandals or whatever and you walk through the grass and it's a bit damp and it feels really nice under your feet and it's not the same when you step out of the caravan or the camper onto kind of a hard shingle surface or, or stones or whatever it just doesn't feel the same but I like this site here at Kessingland a lot it's lovely, it's just quiet and peaceful it's got huge wind turbines on either side of you as you sit in your, in your pitch it's right next door to a place called Africa Alive, which is um, not a safari park really, it's more like a zoo, because you can't actually go in amongst the animals as it were, but you can, you can have a good look at them. And it specialises in African animals, so sometimes, not often, but sometimes as you sit here, you can hear the lions roar, or you can hear the monkeys scream and the, you know, the apes howl or roar or whatever they choose to do you get odd noises and odd sound effects and as you're lying in your little warm pit you wonder if there's anything interesting stalking past outside I think that's great <laughs> if you bring the kids here as well or the family you can get some really quite good offers to actually go into Africa Alive as well actually from the campsite um, which is quite a good thing to do as a person on what's called age concession with the Camping and Caravanning Club, the overall cost of this night for me here with the electric and the very smart and um, very clean and comfortable loo block uh, is about £11 at this time of the year. It's one of the Camping and Caravanning Club's most expensive sites because it's in a real prime holiday spot, lower stuff. Um, and it's hugely popular during, during the high season. But at this time of the year, there's kind of half a dozen vans on site. I expect there'll be more next week during the school halls and the week after. But then it will come back to being a bit quieter until the weather warms up and then people will gradually start to use it more. In the meantime, I'm really comfortable here. It's lovely to be here. I've got the heater turned on quite low. Don't need much heat. Um, and I'm going to have a pleasant the rest of the evening before I settle down and... Hopefully, have a good night's kip. And there you have it. That was the first night I've spent in this camper van at the Camping and Caravanning Club's Kessingland site. It was okay. Um, I've got some more things to sort out. I'm not sure that the sleeping bag I was using was quite warm enough, and I think maybe next time I use that sleeping bag, I'm going to go to bed with my socks on. Uh, but otherwise it was fine. I had um, a fan heater set to uh, a low thermostat setting so it cut in and out and I think that woke me up a few times which is um, a little bit annoying but such is life. I think in general I slept reasonably well. I was lucky enough in the night to hear what I suspect might have been a lion having a bit of a grumble uh, although to be honest with you I'm not sure whether it was a lion having a grumble or whether it was uh, the pollution in the air that's supposed to be about at the moment making them choke. Don't know. So there we have it. A comfortable enough night. Warm enough. Cosy in the little van. Uh, I've managed to find homes for a lot of stuff that I hadn't previously found a home for. 
and I think I'll continue that process for a while. Uh, today I'm going up to Yarmouth and then I'm supposed to be taking my nice niece who lives in Great Yarmouth out for a beer and lunch. So that'll be nice because I haven't seen her for months and months. Late this afternoon or tonight I shall ramble on back to Felixstowe and get back into my own warm and cosy little bed and pray for sunnier weather when we're on the road next. See you soon.